Hello everyone, welcome to Vijay Chemistry channel. Today, uh, oxidation number continuation, rule number 7 and 8. Rule number 7, oxidation number of fluorine and its compounds always minus 1 Flu because fluorine is highest electronegative element and the periodic table. So, its oxidation number always minus 1, no change fluorine. Okay. Next, uh, till now we discussed the calculations just for compounds. If it is in ionic form, in ion how to calculate the oxidation number means in compound ions, sum of oxidation number of all, all the atoms present in a ion is equal to its charge. Okay, sum of oxidation number of all atoms present, present in ion is equal to its charge. For example, sulfate ion, SO4 to minus 2. I want sulfur, oxidation number of sulfur we need. At the time, same like first rule, how we calculate, like that only calculating. But what? As per first rule, is equals to 0 we taken. Here, is equals to its charge. So, sulfate ion charge how much minus 2? Remaining calculation same as for first rule. 4 oxygen, 4 into oxygen oxidation by minus 2. If you substitute, you will get plus 6. To verify, really as per this correct or not, is equals to its charge or not? See, just I consider this is equation 1. S minus 8 is equals to equation 1. You can take any step. After getting the final answer, its value with sulfur value, we got oxidation number plus 6. So that plus 6 you substitute in equation 1, you will get same charge minus 2 because what we calculated is correct is equal to its charge. Sum of oxidation number of all the atoms present in iron is equal to its charge. Same for bicarbonate ion HCO3 minus calculate the carbon. I'll get the phosphorus in phosphate ion. Same steps to verify whatever we got the oxidation number of carbon that when we substitute in this equation 1, we got it minus 1. Minus 1 is equal to minus 1, its charge. It becomes equal to its charge. So, sum of all the atoms which are there ion is equal to its charge. We are proving in this way. Thank you to all children.